What's going on guys, I'm Known Player here and today I'm going to bring you guys a video letting you know what I think is the best assault rifle within Advanced Warfare. This is the BAL 27. Now this isn't a clear decision, there's so far no weapon that really sticks out from the rest as the best weapon in the game. I've used them all and I definitely wouldn't say there's any particular weapon that sticks out from the rest as being overpowered. There normally is in Call of Duty games, there's normally that one assault rifle or SMG which is just night and day so much better than the rest and within like the first week or few days it gets patched but this isn't the case uh, but we're talking about the bell right here the hbr a3 and the ak are the two other automatic assault rifles the ak has a zero recoil which is good but i find it a little bit weak and the hbr has good damage and a medium recoil but uh, it's just too slow firing the rate of fire is not high enough even though the first two bullets fire faster than all the others if you burst fire it can be effective but in general it's just too slow firing and the bell in my opinion is for that reason the best and most solid assault rifle the recoil may put you off at first but uh, it's just a little bit of vertical and uh, it just bounces up and down. It's very controllable and uh, the good thing is it will often bounce up and get you headshots. If you aim at the center mass, it will often bounce up and get you a headshot. The bell actually has really nice iron sights as well, so you don't need a red dot. I'm using one right here, but uh, that just could make it a little bit more precise. I prefer the dot, but honestly, the iron sights are very, very nice. And I'll probably revert to using them to uh, save an attachment slot. And in general, it's got very, very good damage at range. It deals good damage up close and it can even compete with some of the submachine guns in the game. Now the unique feature about this weapon is that the fire rate will increase the more that you hold down the trigger. So the longer you hold down the trigger, the more the fire rate will ramp up and the recoil doesn't actually increase. So when you're firing this weapon full auto, it becomes a really, really fast firing weapon. And uh, the kill time just feels a tiny bit quicker than the other assault rifles. And uh, the reason I'm only considering three assault rifles is because there are only three fully auto ones. The other three, two of them are burst fire, three round burst and one's four round burst. And the other one is a single shot, the MK14. So I'm not really counting those two much and I'm not really a big fan of burst rifles in this game because I feel like people move way too fast to be using a burst weapon or single shot so in my opinion full auto is the way to go and it's easy to track people the single fire or burst fire if you miss a burst or if someone's boosting around really quickly I find that you can miss a shot and that will really set you back and uh, so that is why I don't choose the burst rifles and uh, but the really great thing about the belt is it's unlocked by default so you don't actually need to grind to unlock any levels for this weapon normally in COD games the best weapon is unlocked very late and uh, but this right from the start can be unlocked which is definitely one of the best weapons of the game so you can go and unlock it right from the start and uh, use this weapon I would definitely recommend it let me know what your thoughts are about the Bell 27 uh, hopefully you found this video helpful if you did give it a like rating if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel I've got a ton more coming out make sure you don't miss them so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later